What about technology in this universal world? You know, in, by 2020, we will have mobile devices faster than a 2005 PC. And all innovation is divergent. This comes back to the issue about the, the radar screen. Let me say again, you cannot innovate through benchmarking. Benchmarking is a way to oblivion. It, all you do is become identical to everyone else on price and quality. So how do you have a competitive advantage? Every competitive advantage happens from, not from convergence, but from divergence. It happens from the outer edge of the radar screen where no one else is looking. And yes, I know we can think about some crazy ways that technology might innovate for the future. And some of them might seem laughable to you. But we will find new ways to use just about anything. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, what about the brain and IT? I'm interested in bio-digital worlds. We have uh, not only the capacity, I think, uh, in the future to produce a camera with the resolution of the human eye. Uh, by the way, it could be a bio-camera. Uh, one of the things, we already have the capacity to regrow retinal cells at the back of the eye of someone who's gone blind. And these cells automatically connect to the optic nerve so an animal can see again. Astonishing. Now I'm talking about something else. I'm talking about the fusion of digital and bio worlds. I'm talking about these brain cells, which you can see here, growing on the surface of a computer chip. Brain cells are intelligent and then recognize other intelligence. And brain cells automatically connect to computer chips. They need no teaching, they just do it. All you do is you mix brain cells in water, you float them onto the surface of chips, you sit back and relax and feed them. And if you do that, you will find quite soon that electrical signals start to be picked up by the chips. The brain cells connect not only to the chips, but they also start to put out uh, feelers to each other, they connect to each other, they connect to the chip. You get a biodigital device. I'm telling you history, my friends. You tell me the future. These devices have been grown for the last five to ten years. So, uh, could we have a human brain that can go online? This is history. We already did it in animals. We have rats and mice that can think electrically. They produce currents and thoughts which go from one mouse to another. The mouse says, I am thirsty, and a signal electronically goes to another mouse in another laboratory saying, please, can you give me a drink? If the other mouse agrees to give the first mouse a drink, he gets some food. We are living in a strange world. I am not saying that you're going to have a plug-in module for mathematics in the future or language. I'm just saying we are entering new territory for the future. So, um, what about other ways of thinking about innovation? 